So on the weekend, I reviewed this little gem of a pen. This is the Platinum DP1000 fountain pen, and while it is an amazing pen with a great nib, awesome aesthetics, it is at the end of the end of the day a desk pen, and it means it cannot be used every day because this pen clocks out at about 17 centimeters with the cap off. And when you put the cap on, it is 17.3 centimeters, pretty much impossible for everyday use. So for once, it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it, or if you can actually use it because you can't use it for everyday writing. So, a while back, I found this little post on Reddit, and it was by a Redditor, I can't remember his name, but he said, use the back barrel from the um, Pilot 78G. And I did try this, but the rings, the diameter of the ring here, and the barrel of the Pilot 78G don't exactly line up. So what I did was I went ahead and tried other barrels. I tried the barrel on the... Um, uh, what is it, the Hero um, 601, and that didn't exactly fit, but when I tried the Wingsung 233, it was pretty much a perfect fit, so I'm going to take the um, back off the pen, put on the back of this pen, which I reviewed and I didn't like it, so I'm not going to be using this pen too often, so I'm going to put the um, backing of this pen on, and when we put it on, it pretty much lines up perfectly. The threads also, um, they're slightly different in length, but once you've um, you know, tightened it on, that won't matter at all. It uh, tightens and screws on awesomely. And what you have here is a pen that when you take a look at it, is pretty much the same length as an uncapped um, Wingsung 601. Awesome length, super comfortable to hold. You have the great aesthetics, I mean, you have the great um, ergonomics from this pen, um, and combined with the great ergonomics from the back of the, um, the Wingsung pen, which is pretty much mimicking a Parker 51 fountain pen. Awesome pen, you can pretty, yeah, as I said before, same length as this, and funnily enough, the pen in its final form is shorter than the back barrel of the um, the uh, desk pen. Stupidly long, this desk pen. So, you have the cap that it comes with. Not the most um, beautiful looking cap in the world, but still, cap it and it will still work. Only issue is now that this pen doesn't have a um, clip on it. And there are several things that I could do. I could probably fashion a clip um, out of something, I've done it before on my um, pilot, pilot penmanship, I've just 3D printed something up. Or here's the thing, it may not have a cap, but this is the, um, this is a Kaweco pen. Kaweco pens don't really have clips, a lot of Kaweco's don't. This is the um, Kaweco Sport clone, the Wingsung 3007, that doesn't have a um, clip either. A lot of them don't have clips and a lot of people don't seem to mind, well, considering that a lot of people use them. So... Yeah, doesn't have a clip, but um, I could totally fashion one up. But now, I can easily use this pen every day. So, when I'm not using um, this pen in the uh, desk holder that I have, I'm certainly going to be using this pen every day, because the extra fine nib in it is awesome. Super awesome pen to write with. I love using it. It also occurs to me, if you want a uh, Wingsung 223 desk pen, just chuck the back of the desk pen onto the Wingsung. See, it works, but uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that. You're getting a bad nib and a, you get all the unpracticality of the, the longness of the pen.